Hey everybody, it's Lord Ilric. Welcome back to Ilric Gaming Presents. Today we're doing something a little different. Uh, we had uh, our series of Surviving Bloomfield Canada. Unfortunately, it didn't survive. Uh, there was a disaster up there. We lost everything. All, any and everything that we had. Uh, we managed to collect our insurance money and we pulled up stakes and we left uh, town uh, because there was just nothing really left in the town. It was completely wiped out. <laughs> so, in other words, I had a game save corruption and uh, took what we had made and what uh, we had invested in. I've gone ahead and started a new game. Today we are doing AG Contracting Services. We are taking what we learned in our Surviving Bloomfield and we are actually converting this to a new playthrough where we're not really going to own a farm. We're going to do contracting services for farmers. Uh, so we've moved here to the U.S. We're in the town of Hastings, North Dakota. It's big. It is really big. This is an 8x map, uh, so it's huge. Uh, we just came out of the county offices. We had just purchased 1.3 acres of heaven. Uh, actually, no, it's not really that much. Uh, there's not much there to it. But we're going to head to that property now, and we're going to actually start setting up to do our contracting services. We're going to have to invest in equipment and whatnot, uh, and we're going to have to be relatively careful because it's easy to go too far too fast. So there are a lot of contracts out there. Once we get the basic stuff set up, uh, a workshop and some roads put into place, we will definitely be looking at the contracts to find equipment, figure out what equipment we're going to need. Uh, I want to avoid... <laughs> We're going to need some beefy, beefy equipment for these fields. This place is huge, as you'll see. It is several miles down the highway to get to our place. Look at the size of these fields. They're insane. So, I'm going to drive down. I'll point some things out as we're going. And we will begin doing the design of our property. We've got a workshop. I've got a great little workshop I want to put in place. And we'll get a, we're going to probably just stay in a workshop for now. Uh, given that we don't have a ton of money to spare. But there's some... So we just came out of town. Uh, there's not much to it. There's some sell points there. Uh, straight ahead, there's some silos. I don't think we can use those. Uh, and we probably won't. We may get into farming down the road, but for now, we're going to just focus on contracting services. So we're going to do field work. Um, we'll possibly look at doing some of the various missions that need to get done, hauling stuff and whatnot. So down this way, and it's a bit of a trek here, and I promise we won't do these all all the time. Oops, let's get back on our side of the road. So up ahead on the left, you can see some buildings there. That is a repair shop closer to the road, which should come into view momentarily here. wonder if this will help. Whoops, I hit that. It always jumps back. Uh, but that's the implement dealer. There's the workshop. And they've got some equipment sitting there for display. <clears throat> Down the road a ways, there's a, uh, a Grayson gas station, but it's just past where we're actually headed. So, oops, let's stay on the road. We're going to actually go back to the outside view. So these fields are massive, so these contracts are going to take a long <laughs> long time. So we're going to try some slightly different methods of editing videos so that I don't force you to sit through all of that. Now, I bought a field, or what should be a field, 
can't because I can't remove houses and I kind of want to build up the property exactly the way I want it and not have to work around existing buildings. It gives a little bit more immersion. So I'm going to have to tinker with the view distance. I have to load this game well in advance of playing it and using auto or course play have it drive around a few times to load in the resources so that it doesn't stutter like crazy all right so i considered this property right there this is 114 um it's a little bigger than i thought we needed we could expand to that we could actually build on that or maybe not but 115 is this little itty bitty sliver right here in the middle of nowhere there's the grayson gas station so at least that's close all right we're gonna have to do some work on our driveway but uh, this road technically takes you back to this field, uh, but we get to build in this space between the trees, the river, and the road. So we're going to have to figure out how best to set everything up. And what I'm thinking is we put our main shed back here, and we can actually set up stations for fuel for fertilizer for all of the stuff that we're gonna need so we're gonna go back to the truck and we're gonna just kind of start doing the layout and hopefully <laughs> hopefully i don't mess it up too much because moving things is expensive if we're not careful so we're looking at sheds and there's one in particular there's a shed with an office somewhere in here uh, we could do pole barns, and we probably will in the future. Uh, but we want to get our main system set up. There's the shed with the office. I think that's the one. And we wait for the item to load. Okay, this is big. And yeah. So what I'm thinking is that's going to go back here. And that's, it's not cheap, but it's not the most expensive shed we could get. And this is just to get us started. We can add equipment, sheds, and whatnot as we go on. I need to check. I want to kind of make sure that we're not right uh we just have so much shed is so big it's hard to see um i don't want to get too close to that field but i think right about here we're gonna come forward a little bit we're gonna there we go bring that to about there okay that's huge Let's get out and take a look at the shed. So we can make a drive that comes up here no problem. Uh, here we have storage that you open from the inside. Uh, hang on. Game save time. Stop. Come on. There we go. So we can actually open these here. Uh, down here you saw there was another door. This is our repair shop, which is fantastic. That's a nice little uh, place. I like the wood interior. Uh, if we come over here, we can turn those lights sign or those signs on. That looks pretty cool. And here we have ourselves a nice little office space. I'll turn the light on, and there we go. So we have a little fridge. This is our workstation. Uh, couch over here, TV up there. It's not going to be the most comfortable place to live, I don't think, initially, but it should do the job for now. A uh, little work, a sink here and our diagnostic systems and some beer. <laughs> our welding equipment. 
storage cabinets. So this is not a bad little configuration. Uh, we do actually have lights that we can turn on here too. So we got the Peterbilt with the outside lights turn on and off. I think that was these. Yep. And I think these turn on the interior lights. Yep. So a nice a nice state uh workspace for us to be in so with that unfortunately i can't place things i can't go inside and place things easily uh so <laughs> we need to place a sleep point and i can't get inside the building to see uh and having it on the roof doesn't seem reasonable so what i was gonna do is just put it pretty much let's see if i can turn and set it over there all right so we do now have a sleep point that we can trigger which this works just fine it looks okay so we've got the main shop that's good now we need to put in fuel station we need to put in fertilizer we need to put in all kinds of stuff uh, we could go with this for fuel um that's ten thousand liters or we could bump it up to the twenty five thousand liters i think for now we're gonna stick with just the let's do the fifteen thousand all right so what i want to do for this is i want to actually put this on this side, the, the, I gotta do this. <laughs> it's difficult. All right. Actually, we're going to put that out here. I think I don't really want that. too close to the shop and yeah, there we go so we have that uh we need to do some painting what we're gonna do is we're gonna put gravel down and make this pretty big because this is gonna be a lot of gravel for now um, and then we're going to make this smaller. And we're going to actually extend this out here. So that we can drive to these without too much difficulty. That field's a little close, but we'll live. So we'll pull this edge along here. And we're going to come over to here. And we're going to go like that. Okay, let's take a look. Alright, there is a bit of a drop there. Mm. Construction, landscaping, level. This is going to take a little bit of work. Or it'll go fairly quickly. Uh, we got to do a little bit more. Let's see. Yep, it's not perfectly flat. We got to fix underneath this and put some grass back in. But that took out the worst of the significant drop. So it's not bad. Let's see. Do, do, do. Okay, let's fix that. Get down here. 
Actually, what we want to do is draw it this way. There we go. Perfect. Not bad. So now we got to put in our fertilizer and other containers and silos. Not, not silos. We want containers. So if we come in here, this is a liquid fertilizer tank that holds 173,500. This is a solid and they hold a lot less uh, station hmm 60,000 liters isn't terrible though so what we're going to do is rotate this so that the equipment just drives right up to load Got that perfect and then so that's our fertilizer hmm. what else do we need Probably going to need a lime station, but I don't think we have one in the game. Tools. Do, do, do. Let's see, is there anything in here? Ah, yes, a wash station. Uh, would be nice to be able to wash our equipment. We're going to put that out here. And get a good bird's eye view and there we go so we can actually wash the equipment I keep exiting that and I don't need to <laughs> um, I do think we're gonna put some lights out here though let's take a look uh, that's an awfully short light That's not a light. That is doo -doo -doo -doo, an improved weather station, which we do kind of want because it will help us determine on what's coming. But we're going to just tuck that back here. All right. So I think it's under decorations lights. Okay. I don't think we need super duper fancy schmancy lights. Uh, we just need some lights for now. That's pretty tall. That's pretty short. That's really <laughs> tall. That's even taller. That's really short. So, this is the one. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this out here. And we're going to have to uh, see how do we turn it to get the maximum effect. Actually, what we're going to do, we're going to put that over here, I think. Okay, we'll see how that works for us. We can always move it or remove it. We are not putting in any production. We're not putting in a farmhouse. We're not putting in silos. So this is the basis of what we've got. And that light looks pretty good. It's a little out of place, I think, but kind of want to keep it lit up in the area. Let's go ahead and move our truck in. Oh, I like the sound of that. Yeah, we lost our other truck, the uh, fancy brand new one, so we're stuck. we've got kind of confined to this one for now. But what we'll end up doing is we'll end up hiring farm helpers to run equipment for us. Uh, I think it'll be an interesting approach to this. Since I don't have multiplayer in place. Alright, so let's go ahead and close up shop out here for right now we'll park any major equipment in here and in that other bay uh, we have plenty of room to put in additional a couple additional uh, 
pole barns to better work with stuff and store stuff. And we've still, I'm sure there's things I'm missing to add in here and I need to fix that or it's going to continue to bother me. Uh, no end until I do. And let's see. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. Awesome. So the next thing we need to do is we do need to purchase stuff to put in here. Um, that's not cheap, but let's do it. Okay. We now have fifteen thousand liters of fuel in there. It's expensive. And if we do this, ouch! This is a hundred grand. Let's do it. Okay. So, as I mentioned, oh, you know, I wonder if there's a chair we can put in <laughs> that we can sit on outside. Um, because that would be kind of nice. Hmm. I doubt it. We can't do that right now. All right. So let's go in our office and we'll take a look at what the contracts we have available to us are right now. Okay. All right, so let's pull up what we've got going on contract-wise. Oh, look at all of these contracts. There's a lot of them. Cultivating is relatively easy. Uh, a medium-sized tractor and a cultivator is pretty straightforward. Let's turn on the details and see what we make. We kind of want to keep this profit per minute pretty high. Uh, and fertilizer does that, but I'm not sure we want to do that. Um, so we could do field 22 and make $91,000. We're going to have to buy... A harvester, a truck, <laughs> a trailer, and all of that stuff. Um, but that's doable. That's easily doable. So I'm thinking we're going to want to... Ooh, look at this one. Field 31, $268,000. Field 31. I have a feeling. I have a bad feeling. 31 is going to be a huge field. <laughs> that one will take time. Oops, I did it again. Um, but I honestly think we're going to need a harvester. We're going to need a truck and trailer. And we're going to have to keep a fairly close watch on the equipment we've got. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's on sale. Ooh. There's a Fent for sale for 221. Um, it does the basics. That's not terrible. It's got a 1200 or 12,500 liter storage. Um, holds a thousand liters of fuel. That's not the worst thing I have ever seen. Uh, see if it'll load in so we can take a quick look. It's not a bad looking harvester. So the ideal 7PL, we could bump it up. I don't think we need to. Not initially. Wheel. Tire. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the other harvesters that we have out there and see if we can find something that we like. Uh, I do like John Deere. I like Case. My father-in-law actually worked for Case uh, and built cotton pickers here in the north <laughs> central region of the country. Um, craziness. Let's see. That's... Uh, give it a second. It takes a time for everything to load in lately. Do, do, do. Or I'm just using the wrong button. The 7150 doesn't look half bad. 
Uh, it's a slightly smaller storage. What are our wheel options? Twin and standard. Okay. There's the Fent again. Here's the Macy Ferguson version of that. I mean, at that point, you'd be better off to go buy the, uh, <laughs> the, the used one. But we do have the money to spend on a high end. Now, I kind of like this one, but a half a million is a bit much. So honestly, I think the para level is going to be our best deal and we're doing a save again. Do, do, do. So if we're going to get the fent or the ideal para level, oop, God, I did it again. If we're going to get that, um, the header, we need to find a good header that's going to work for us. Uh, let's see. How do I know what these will work on? It should work pretty much anything. Well, oh, there's the Fent right there. Power Flow, Power Dynaflow, Dynaflex. So this is a 40 foot. What's the difference in these? Um, and is there anything else? So it looks like we'd be looking at one of these because I think these were 30 foot. Now we don't want to go that small. We're still going to be power or, or limited by our harvester for a lot of this stuff, I believe. Um, yep, yeah, let's just... Uh, Actually, back combinations. Okay, so we're going to also need the trailer. Let's go ahead and buy this. Let's go back. Let's do combinations. We're going to need this. Spare wheel. And I think... That's all perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and buy that. Okay. And then let's jump in here and buy this before it disappears. So let's see. We want... I like the way the Continentals look. Ooh, the BKTs. The Continentals. And then, uh... Ooh, I tire. I think we want the wide tires and GPS. Yeah, it's expensive, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. And um, let's see, this is AG Con. <laughs> e. Oh, we need to do A G. This is AG count one. Perfect. In color, let's do black. And okay. So now if we look at the back, we have AG contract one. Let's spend all that money on that. Awesome. So there's also, we're going to need a decent medium or high powered or high end tractor we're going to need fertilizer we're going to need other equipment like that um the tempo is 12 meter width i'm not sure that's going to be enough for most of the fields we're working on um yeah fun stuff all right let's get out of here for right now Ooh, we gotta get a truck. Hmm. We need a truck to haul stuff. Let's go back in there. 
Sorry, folks, there's just so many things here. All right, let's take a look at trailers first. Let's see if we can find a good side dump. This will hold how much? So this will carry an awful lot. It'll hold 16.8 metric liters. Um, let's see what else. Okay, here we go. 40... 51 um i think we're gonna need the load king to be honest with you or we could do the distinction super b uh that holds a lot of holds a lot of stuff uh, that's expensive but let's take a look actually let's go back and let's see what it's saying for combinations all right so we've got some trucks in here reasonably priced Kind of like the Superliner 6x4 there. It's a little more expensive, but not much. Uh, so, let's go in here. And let's see if we can change. Okay, I like that. And the cover. No, <laughs> that's just silly. Um, I think the black, I think that'll work. Uh, let's go in here. This is going to be, we're going to put this as three because I want, nope. I want the truck to be two. Expensive. All right, let's buy it that pick that up at the shop if we come back here into combinations let's take a look at the super mac 400 liters 500 horsepower 400 liters 425 horsepower so you're paying for that little extra horsepower let's take a look at the designs Ooh. nice <laughs> not bad we're going with that, and I'm not going to worry about the uh, that on uh, the uh, GPS on that. Okay, with that, let's buy it. All right. Okay, so this is the absolute basic to get us started with harvesting. So we're going to drive to town uh, and pick that stuff up. Get stuck on the door. Let's shut the door here. Hop in our pickup. We are lagging something fierce right now, and I'm hoping I don't lose too much. Because one thing we have to do is we're going to have to do our auto drive course so i want to do that first and yes this is some tedious setup stuff and i apologize for that but i think it's important that we get this done to make the, our lives much easier down the road so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we're going to cause a traffic jam. We're going to turn on these. And we're going to back up. We'll let that car go through since it's in our way now. So we're going to have just one path going in and out, which is going to be interesting, but it'll be good. So let's go ahead and get this all set up. What we're going to do is we're going to 
put this to here. We'll put everything away ourselves. And what we're going to do is we're going to call this one uh, AG Shop Return. Okay. And that'll give us the ability to send things here to park. And we're going to do this just to have this. Okay. And we're going to come back out here. Alright, this is where it's going to get difficult. Actually, because we don't want to do that. What we want to do is... We need to make these all bi-directional. We don't need to do it up here because it won't work that way for those. So this won't take a huge amount of time to get this done. But I didn't want to do this before we did the build and I wanted to do the build with you guys. Uh, so hopefully we're not losing much because I'm having some system side issues. Everything seems to be running good. Okay. We're getting close, folks. We're getting there. Almost to the road. Perfect. And then we're gonna, here, we're taking out this one. We're gonna put in a turn, like so. And then we're gonna put in that but what can you do that didn't work all right so this one's coming in here so it's again a turn if we go from here to here is it doing that wibbly thing no it's going So why is it doing that? Hmm. I'm going to have to play with that, folks, honestly. I'm not sure why it's doing that. So let's head to the implement dealer. All right. And we'll get the other systems all connected, and we'll get them moving on down to the shop. We'll get everything parked. And I think we might end up calling it a uh, episode there. Uh, I know there wasn't a lot of farm work done. I apologize, but I'm hoping we can uh, start doing that next episode. And maybe get some additional equipment, but we need to get some cash coming in. Uh, we got our cool little... Uh, <laughs> little truck here with the roll bars so it'll be nice we'll make some progress here so let's head on to the implement dealer do, do, do. our dash is pretty pretty sparse there's the implement dealer. We're almost there. Everything is 
a long ways away and really, really big. But that's not bad. It could make things interesting. We'll have to play with some additional mods that we haven't had in the past and try and get things to function the way we want. Alright, so things are, are loading in and it's bogging us down a little bit. But there's our new kit. This will be fun. Alright, let's go ahead and get in here. See what we've got. Look at it. All right, let's go ahead and pull over here. Try not to lag everything out terribly. All right. Look at our Mac. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Let's get in and take a look. Let's see what the dash looks like. Oh, nice. I like this. This is a nice truck. Oh, and listen to that. Spectacular. All right. Let's go ahead and hook this bad boy up. Oops. Wrong way. So we can get this headed on home. Then we got to load on the uh, header to the trailer. Perfect. Kingpin's in place. And we're going to send this to AG Shop Return. Let's get over here a little bit so that we hit the right uh, flag. And it's off. We got somebody hauling that home for us. Nice. Okay. We'll probably try and pick up a tractor and stuff here real quick. Okay. What's this look like inside? Let me get it started up. Not bad. Not super high end, but not bad at all. It's better than what we had, which was nothing. All right, we got to get all the way around behind this. Pretty good turn radius, and I like those big tires. 7PL is not a bad uh, combine. Okay, let's get out here. Let's then back around. And that'll do a nice big path for us, which will be fantastic. And she is loaded. Sweet. Nice tractor. Whoops. Save time. Oop. so far up on these to trigger that hatch point and this one we're gonna send to AG return as well there we go that one is being delivered fantastic we should look uh, or should we wait and see if we can't get stuff on the cheap what is this? A wrapper. That's a seed drill. Uh, and it's 12 meters. It's not terrible, but I'm not sure we're going to need a seed mill. A seed drill, excuse me. So tractor-wise, um, do we have anything in a good price range? Ooh, I like the... Uh, 8 8RX series from John Deere. Um, got the Fent. Uh, if we could get it in black, that would be great. But um, Let's see. What else do we have? We got the Versatile. 
and a big, big one there. All right, so let's take a look. So this is 388 horsepower. I think we want a little more than that. This gets us to 458 with the John Deere. Uh, I'm not terribly excited about the JCBs from my experience with them. Uh, the new Holland is an option. That's a little low. Class, I kind of want to keep these to what I would expect to see in the area. So John Deere case and the like. So 458, 458. More fuel. And it weighs a couple of tons more. And then there's the case. 435 is a little low. Oh, somebody made it home. Then there's the 9 series. And this gets to be really high-end uh, horsepower, which I don't think we need. So, unfortunately, it doesn't look like the case is going to be in scope. But this one is definitely, I think, the one that we want to look at. Um, no front end loader. We want the U S track setup. That adds four grand to the bill. Ouch. Um, this is the 357, another 50 grand to get the 458. That's going to take half of the money we've got left. Oof. Um, <laughs> and that's without the. Well, we don't really need that, but the GPS I kind of want to have on this. I don't think that is the tractor for us. Um, hmm. Maybe we do look at the Magnum series. We want the U.S. design, attachers. Let's go with the three-point engine uh we're at the 374 the 435 is going to cost us 30 grand that's a bit high in my opinion but um the wheel setup that's not terrible let's take a look and see if we can get that with the uh, continentals nope you can't get that track set up with the continentals you can get that track set up with the Continentals. That's 20 grand. That's 300 and so. Ouch. I don't think we're getting a crawler track. I think we're getting a standard. <laughs> I can't afford. We can't spend all of our money on really cool looking tractors right now. We need to make money before we can start spending money. But I think that's a good tractor. It's 357 for a 435 horsepower. Yeah. Let's go ahead and buy that. Now that's the expensive stuff taken care of. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, I want to look at cultivators. Because if we can do cultivating jobs, those are relatively easy and straightforward. Um, let's find one that has the best possible with Ooh, that's pushing what we can do just pushing it uh this is 12 or 15 meters wide but it needs 400 or 500 horsepower we have 435 unfortunately um so if we look at this one this is 14.3 meters this one's just in our range uh so let's go ahead and uh See what we can do with that. I'll go ahead and buy that just so that we have it. All right. And let's take a look at our new kit. We have burnt through almost $150,000 or $1.5 million just in getting the basic stuff set up. We could have gone without the fertilizer but i kind of want to be able to take those jobs when we get the option so let's go ahead and we'll connect that let's take a look at the inside of this cab uh this is actually quite nice uh dollars worth i'm not sure <laughs> so we will see about that all right we're gonna set this up to head on home as well 
to the AG shop. All right, and we've got somebody driving that one home. So we're going to head home with this, with our pickup now. And we'll get things put away, and we're going to call it an episode, I think. This is a very long one, um, but I kind of wanted to make sure that everybody got to see everything we were doing and involved in the configuration setup. I'll be doing a lot more editing and whatnot going forward. Um, so, actually, speaking of, I'm not going to make you sit and watch this drive home. So I'll catch you when I get there. All right, we are getting back, and as you can see, our stuff is arriving. Uh, we're going to have to move things around a little bit. We really gotta fix the driveway. <laughs> if it's not for no other reason than to reduce the damage being done. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna park the semi on the end of the building uh, by the fuel tank, and then we'll put the harvester and the uh, uh, header in the shed. All right, so let's go ahead and. Uh, Open the door over here. Okay. Now I'm terrible at backing up big trailers. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a loop around and park it. We could drive around the long way, but this is more fun. Let's see. Okay. And we don't have anything over here, so it's not like it's going to hurt anything to drive on this grass. There's our tractor driving in. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Let's get this out of the way. Try not to crash. Seriously, I'm stuck already. All right. So we're going to just do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Here comes the case. Nice. Because I know I'm going to have problems, I'm going to just wheel the trailer in by hand. it in. Got stuck inside. All right. We're going to move this toy in, uh, maybe. Put that over here. Move it over just a touch. And then we're going to move this over like this so that all we have to do then is back the harvester to it and hook it up when we're ready to go. But we're going to park this bad boy inside here.
try not to take the mirrors out. And we'll shut her down. Nice. I'd like to get the case and the cultivator inside there as well. So we'll give this a shot. So apparently we did allow <laughs> duplicate uh, license plates because this one didn't get changed. It's the same as the pickup. not drive in the neighbor's field too much. I am not real good at backing up these trailers in the game. I don't have a problem in the real world, but... Okay. I think we hit the fence. <laughs> That's not good. Let's, uh, let's just... Move this just a touch. That thing's heavy. There we go. Let's not climb the uh, garage there, Elric. <laughs> Alright. We're having some problems with this one, so we're going to just... A little bit... Quite like that. enough for today. Let's go ahead. Close up the shop and we're going to call that an episode. We've got the basic setup for a successful business, I think. We've got a little bit of cash. Uh, emergency purchases, I'm assuming we can worry about that. We have contracts that we can look at. I mean, this one would be easy for us to send the tractor out to do. Um... We're not going to worry about bailing. Uh, right now, we can do <laughs> that and limit it to just the contracts we can actually do something about. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to want to do Field 31. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take a long time. But I think that has the potential to be very, very lucrative. That's a good start for us. Uh, it's in the 320s. Um, actually, we could sort it like this as well. So we could actually make more doing, uh, more quicker doing this contract. We might start working on those, doing that for now. But I kind of want to do that when we get the big payday. That would double our cash on hand, which would be nice. So, on that fo note, folks. I'm Lord Elric. This is Hastings, North Dakota. There's a whole lot of nothing here. Thanks for joining me. If I've earned your subscription, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.